think 56 nights crazy. I think 56 nights crazy. I think me and your go crazy. I think me and young go crazy. I did 56 bras on a European tour and they was all crazy. I did 56 bras on a European tour. Hey, it's your girl Tiana May, and not only am I hosting the PMA SMA STL Awards, I'll be doing a one on one special interview with some of our artists up close and personal. Featuring Mario. Mario is a very, very, very talented and violin, violin, very talented violinist, and one of my very own uh, homies, homeboys, <laughs> colleagues from UMSL. What's up, Mario? Hey, what's up? Alright, make sure you cut that out because I don't like that. Moving forward, so how's everything going? What's new? Tell us something about how's your year been thus far? Uh, it's been, it's been really busy. It's, it's been busy. Um, you know, it's wedding season. So, yes. Yeah, so I got to see a lot of uh, I do's. I haven't seen I don'ts. So I hope I don't see that. That'll be like so embarrassing, that right? Would, I, like what song would like what song would you play in the middle of it? Cause you have to create wah, like wah, wah. <laughs> you would probably have to create a diversion, like for like, like to uh, take the yeah. attention off of the I was, a, Yeah, mm, I was a part of a uh, proposal. Mm -hmm. It kind of made it tear up. You know, so. Oh, that's beautiful. So let me ask you this. What covers have you done lately for those special occasions? Uh I did so amazing. Oh, by Music Soul Trap. No, uh, So Amazing by Luther Daniels. So Amazing to be loved, to follow yeah. the moon and the stars above. Yeah, I did that, and I did So Beautiful. Okay. Music Soul Trap. Okay. But, uh, yeah, that was about it. That's cool. So tell me, what, what got you going? What got you started? How, how old were you when you started? Uh, I was maybe seven or eight. Seven or eight. Who got you going? Like, what, was it a music artist? Was it a family member? Uh, well, I mean, I started. I played piano before I played violin. Okay. And I wasn't into the piano. I just my brother, my oldest brother, plays piano, and I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't for me. Right. And I heard uh, my school orchestra in elementary school play Beauty and the Beast, and the violins. It was just like oh I like the it, tone. It was the tell the tellers all this time. Yeah, the main thing. Oh my god. Yeah. I just recently saw it at the Muni like awesome. two weeks ago. It was beautiful. Like okay. the orchestra and the ensemble was amazing. But okay. more about you, more about you. So okay, so yeah, so what covers have you done lately? Like I know that I follow you on Instagram and I know with some of your um covers that you do, you, you I'm seeing you merging more from out of R and B and classical to like hip hop and stuff and that's pretty cool. Yeah. So what um what hip hop jams have you mastered this for? Like the you know the hot songs that's out right um, now. I've done Weekend the Hills. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done Earned It. Um, uh, I think. So tell me about you, Mario, or Rio Violin. <laughs> what can you say about your talent and your art about music versus others. Like, what is something that you don't do that others do? Um, well, I try to have a really wide range of uh, genres. So, basically, my range is 50s all the way to gospel. Mm -hmm. um, I try to stay away from, like, the trendy, you know, stuff that, you know, I can, I know I can play, but, I, you know, I already seen somebody do it. You know, I don't want to. The Fetty Wops, yeah. Amigos, and yeah, yeah, I don't want to fall into that boat, you know, I mean, I could do it, I just, you know, just don't, just don't want to just do, don't wanna do yeah. it. So I appreciate that about you, um, as an artist, it's very important to keep, keep the music alive, especially with the music that has mess versus like the music that's trendy and that has a good beat. So what, why music, what is your message that you want to give through how you orchestrate it? Um, I don't really, I just kind of just, I don't know, I let my music be my voice, so, you know, whatever, whatever I, I guess I'm feeling, you know. Your mood. Yeah, my mood. Okay. You know, um, you know, just trying to expose, you know, music as an outlet, even though everybody knows music as an outlet, but, you know, instruments are an outlet. Okay. You know? and, um, and it's, you know, like anything else, it's not something that, that comes to people easy. You know, it's just like, you know, basketball, football, any kind of, any kind of hobby you pick up, you know, it's, it's going to take work. 
It's gonna always take work. So basically what Mario is saying that follow him on Instagram and you can figure out his daily mood. <laughs> that's what that sounds like. And that's cool because as a person that I know you personally because you both went to the same um most my all of mine. <laughs> You're still working on the margin. I am. <laughs> that's alright. That's alright. It took me a while, so I understand. But outside of that, when we have great conversations, I know that you you are communicative, but you are still kind of like I'm, I'm more. You're more into your music. You're one of those artists yeah. who are into their music, into their passion, into like their art more so than trying to understand the world or understand people. You throw yourself into your music. Yeah, and, and it, it's not you know not understanding people. You know, I, I I'm a social person. I just I mean when it comes down to music, it's it's when it's time to come down to music. You know, I got it. This is like my career. You know, what I'm saying mm -hmm. so. It's got to be. Blazing jazz, blazing line, straight to it. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So. So when you when you seek motivation, who is someone that you turn to? Like who motivates you? Who, who inspires you? Person more so who's about his music instead of the people. That's this way of communicating with people. is being about his music. Yeah. Is it what they say? Because I don't really see you fuck with a lot of people. I, I mean, I don't, but <laughs> I. I know you're friendly, yeah. yeah, but you got your own life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that. I I use my music to kind of open up the social door. So, at your lowest or at your highest or even when you're middle, like as far as like your mood, and energy, what keeps you going? What inspires you each and every day? The drive, the just. I mean, just knowing that I, I came that this far already, mm -hmm. you know I. You know, in the past, like when I started taking private lessons, I thought about quitting. Mm -hmm. But it's the whole feeling of like achieving, overcoming the obstacle that that you're being that that's being handed to you right now. Mm -hmm. You know, it can be, you know, rhythm, you know, time, whatever, whatever the case may be. You know, it's it's just being like, if I overcame it in the past, I can overcome it now. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So it's basically all about the what if. Yeah. The what if, like, what if I actually become famous? What if I actually become to be featured in someone's track or someone's music video? You know, what if Kanye, you know, man, you know, it's a, I, I know, I feel I you. I know. Man, that was Kanye. Kanye is definitely somebody that I would want to run into myself simply because I, it's, it's something about his energy. Yeah. I feel like if you were the, if you can be that close to Albert Einstein, you want to be that close to Kanye. And he understands, he under, like, when it comes to arranging, like, Kanye West knows, he knows his, he knows what to do. Like, I saw his, uh, his, uh, performance he did of Late, from a Late Registration. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he actually used, um, a string on the sound, mm -hmm. you know, like, live. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like a pre-recorded, like, straight live. And I was like, I don't, it was just so simple, but it was like, you did that. Like. It was the same thing that he did with, uh, he was at a concert and nobody never really knew that when you listen to PYT Michael Jackson and you can literally uh, loop it all the way into um, Good Life. Oh. But yeah, like you have to listen. He was like, I want something. To but oh, we get besides the point. But think about that. I'll tell you what, and you can coin this, but you know, give, give your girl credit. <laughs> I'm gonna throw out in the universe that you should definitely do that on your violin and then add Kanye. Why not? Yeah. Listen to PYT and you merge it into good life. I bet you people go crazy. Nobody's ever done that before. This just in. You start T animated. Give Mario some game. He gave him some game, so make sure. Like if you see, it, make sure you add me and be like T animated. <laughs> nah.
me everything about you. That's a bold move. I know that you're out here and there's things you gotta go through. Just know that these streets just don't love.